Our job isn't to fix people. Our job isn't to clean people up. Our job isn't to point out everybody's sin to them. I mean, there are time in relationships and accountability places and places like that. We have conversations like that, let's say, right? That's, that's a part of the process of being a disciple and growing in our faith and whatever it may be. But it's the work of God in a person that changes them. Not the work of a person outside the person. It's the work of God in them that changes them. Our, God's, our job is to let people know that God doesn't hold your sin against you. Come on. You got to start someplace. Right? There are people who are just embarrassed. I mean, I have these conversations with people sometimes. They're, they're embarrassed. I just don't know anything. They feel stupid because their kids know more than they know. They don't want to ask questions. They don't want to say, I got questions. I need to talk to someone because they're embarrassed to ask the questions. They need friends who will tell them the story. They need people. You don't have to know, you don't have to know more than the, the, a theologian someplace, right? You just got to know more than the guy who knows nothing. That's it. Tell them about a God who loves them right where they are. They don't have to clean up. Just come on. Give God an opportunity to engage them, to let the Spirit of God work in them. You know, wringing out, sandpapering off. That, that's our job. That's in a, in a nutshell, that's what a culture of redemption, a, a culture of redemption is all about. I mean, it's just telling people about a God who loves them. It's us creating a safe place for broken people because we recognize that the least, you ready? The least broken of us is still broken, right? Our, the best of us is broken. And then when someone's going through brokenness, like, I don't know, maybe you're going through, maybe right now your life is an absolute train wreck. Okay. God is not holding your sin against you. But he has reconciled you, past tense, back to himself at a cross. The enemy will do everything he can to drive a wedge between you and the only place that you receive hope from. He'll do everything he can to drive a wedge between you and the only place that you find redemption. Redemption. 